the beauty about the company, it's not really comfortable. But we accept it as a way of life and think this is the maximum that I can do. There was a village which was hit by drought and all the farmers of the village believed that if it's not raining, it's because the gods are unhappy. So they went to the temple priest and said, look, our fathers and forefathers told us that if it's not raining, the gods are unhappy, which means the temple priest has to go up the hilltop and he has to play the flute. So please, can you do us a favor, go up the hilltop and play the flute. And the priest said, what nonsense is this? Are you crazy? These things don't work. But the farmers kept on pleading for a week and the priest finally gave up and said, okay, fine, I'll take the flute and I'll go up. He went up the hilltop, he played the flute. One day, it did not rain. Two days, he played the flute, did not rain. One week, he played the flute, did not rain. Two weeks, he played the flute, did not rain. He threw the flute on the ground, came back down, looked at the farmers and said, see, are you happy now? I told you it's not gonna rain. There was a small little shepherd in that village, small little boy. He picked up the flute, he went up to the farmers and said, is it okay if I go up the hilltop and play the flute? And the farmer's like, the priest played, it did not rain. What will happen if you do? We don't care. If you want to go up, go up. We don't care whether you play the flute or not. The boy went up enthusiastically, took, held the flute, started playing. One day, no rain. Two days, no rain. One week, no rain. Two weeks, no rain. One month, no rain. But the boy was playing every single day. After 45 days of the boy playing the flute, it finally rained. And everybody in the village started worshipping this boy. Now, when I ask people, why do you think people worship this boy? They say he had belief. I say no. Belief is a very, very nice positive word to carry. But the difference was this. The priest played for it to rain. The boy played till it rained. And the game of business is about building teams, systems, and strategies till it rains, not for it to rain. It's entrepreneurs that play the game for it to rain, that limit themselves, accept their reality, live in their comfort zone. And the beauty about the comfort zone is this. It's not really comfortable. It's not really comfortable. But we accept it as a way of life and think this is the maximum that I can do. But entrepreneurs that play the game till it rains, build teams, build systems, build strategies to build a scalable enterprise. These are the ones who actually go ahead and create impact on this universe, on this planet, and on this nation.